In this video, I am going to discuss about correlation and partial correlation. Correlation is defined as a measure of the relationship between two quantitative variables. Let's discuss with the help of an example. In this example, I have two variables, fear of stats and statistics marks. Fear of stats is rated from 1 to 50. In this example, I have 30 respondents. They have rated their fear from 1 to 50. 1 is least fear of statistics. 50 is highest fear for statistics. So 30 respondents fear is recorded in this variable. Second variable is marks. Exam is conducted for these 30 respondents and their marks from 1 to 100 is recorded here. Now we want to know what is the correlation between fear of stats and the marks they have got. Let's do this with help of an example using SPSS. Let's do the process. Analyze. In analyze, correlation. In correlation, bivariate. In bivariate, I want to take two variables, fear of stats and stats exam marks. Here I am going to use Pearson correlation because these two variables are continuous data. They are parametric data. So I am using Pearson. If they are non-parametric, you can use Spearman. Let's say, okay. Now I got the output. This is a correlation between fear of stats and statistics marks they got. You must first see this value, significant value. The significant value is 0.013. If the significant value is less than 0.05, the correlation between the two variables is significant. And next point is the Pearson correlation. See the strength, it is minus 0.448, minus indicates the direction, that is if the fear increases, marks will reduce, this is called negative and that is direction and the strength shows there is a good strength between fear of stats and exam marks they are getting. So this is correlation. Now let us discuss what is Partial correlation. Partial correlation is a measure of association between two variables while controlling the effect of one or more additional variables. That is, let's see this example once again. I have fear of stats is one variable and statistics marks is a second variable. In this example, we have a third variable called confidence. Respondents are asked to rate their confidence level from 1 to 30. 1 is less confidence and 30 is high confidence. Now what is partial correlation is, now this confidence, this third variable will control the relationship between the two other variables, that is fear and marks. Let us do a, the analysis. We we'll go for analyze, in analyze, correlation in this partial. Now let us take the two variables fear and marks. And what is control variable? Confidence is control variable. Let us take confidence here and click OK. Now you can see this script. We say uh, fear of statistics and the statistics marks by confidence. Confidence is a controlling variable. And let's see the output. The significant value is 0.122. If this value is less than 0.05, then the correlation between the variables is significant. But now we can see that the correlation is not significant. The correlation between fear of stats and the statistic exam marks, there is no correlation. Why? Because confident is controlling the relationship between the two variables. It is clearly understood if the respondent have more confidence then the fear of a subject will not impact his marks. So the confidence 
his level of confidence is controlling between the fear of the subject to the marks he got in the subject so this is partial correlation partial correlation the third variable will control the association between the other two variables thank you